Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to download VXC IPTV app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing IPTV player that works both with XTM codes as well as M3U links, and it's totally free to download. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. And first of all, of course, you'll have to get an app code downloader to your device. You can actually get the loader totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and in the search bar, start typing the loader. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader on your device, you have to go to the settings by clicking on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make one appear. You just go to About, Select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install known apps and from here all you have to do is locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device which is right here. Let's open it. And there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to United States right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go back to the list of apps on your device and start up the downloader application. Then you just wait until the app loads for you. And then here on the left side menu, make sure to click on home and not on browser. That's super important. And now in that search bar, we have to enter a code, which is going to be 266594. So once again, it's 266594. Make sure to enter it as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you will get even more content about fire sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just scroll it down a little bit until you find that green download button. 
Let's click on it, and now, in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually, it does not take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so even with a VPN turned on, it does not take too much time. Then click install and wait until the app gets installed on your device. Be it a Fire Stick or Android TV, it's totally up to you which device to use. And then, after the app is installed, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way we have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on Delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And then we finally go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, open it, wait until it actually loads for you, and there is the XC IPTV app, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, XC IPTV app is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then finally, let's open the app. And here, it's actually super easy to set it up, so if your live TV provider gave you an Xtreme code, then you just enter the code here in the first bar, and then add a username and a password, which were given to you by your live TV provider. Alternatively, you can also use M3U links in that app. To do so, click on the settings button, which is at the bottom right corner of the app, click on it, and select M3U URL. Then you would enter that link here and click on sign in. And pretty much that's it, that's all we need to know in order to set up XCAP TV on your Farsic device. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.